This video is all about planting artichoke seeds. There are some tips and tricks to help them grow really well as seedlings and to help them flower the first year. They're a perennial where I live, but if they're an annual where you're at, there are hybrids that will flower the first year. Today I'm gonna to be planting some Green Globe Improved. They are just a classic artichoke. Typically these flower the second year because they need to have a certain number of weeks of cool weather, weather under 50 degrees, for the plant to think that it has gone through winter, so then it's going to flower. Um, what I'm going to do with these this year is I'm going to go ahead and plant them now, and as soon as they start to germinate, I'm going to pop the little young seedlings, and I'm going to put them in a protected place under our porch so that they don't get direct freezing temperatures. Uh, artichokes are pretty frost hardy, but a young seedling, I don't want to chance it too much. I do want them to have plenty of exposure to cool temperatures, so I can see if I can get some flower buds this year. I'm also going to plant some Imperial Star artichokes. I've never planted these before. They only need a few days of cool temperatures in order for them to set the flowers. So I should get flowers from these regardless. If you live where it's too cold for artichokes to be perennials, you might want to try something like these Imperial Star artichokes because they don't need several weeks of cool temperatures in order for them to set flower. They'll do it the first year. Another annual choice is Colorado Star, which is a purple artichoke. The thing is, I always start my artichokes in these long cups. They send down a long taproot. I'm gonna plant 12 cups of the seeds, six of the green globe, which is what, what I usually plant, and the imperial star for the first time this year. And I'll do six of these as well. I just learned last year that gophers eat the roots of the artichokes. I was wondering why my artichokes always die. I kind of blamed it on deer. Deer will nibble them when they're small, but they really don't bother them. So for these guys, I will be making gopher cages to put the root balls in. I'll make a video about that later and link it down below. I haven't made it yet, but if you're interested, subscribe and you'll see it eventually. This is older seed, so I'm gonna actually plant two per cup. If both of them germinate, I'll just gently separate them. Oops, that one got three. I don't love being transplanted, but I really wanna to try to get flowers this year. Germinate best between 70 to 80 degrees, so that's why I'm starting them inside. It won't be 70 to 80 degrees here, kind of ever. It never really gets that warm here, but you just, barely cover it, like about a quarter inch down, pack it down. So these are the green globe. I'm gonna put a little tag in them in just a second. Artichokes can take a long time to come up, but I've, I mean, I've had them take a couple, three weeks to come up. And I've also had them come up in just days. The key to the quick germination is that they are in a warm place to germinate. That is 70, 75, or up to 80 degrees. It makes a world of difference on how fast they sprout. Once they start growing, they do like a nice cool summer. So if you have a hot climate, you're gonna wanna have them in the spring or the fall maturing. And if you get real cold, you're definitely gonna wanna plant an annual variety. I put the mat here, it's already heating up. And then this is just a cookie sheet that I got from the thrift store for like 25 cents to put the cups on. But this is nice and warm. I actually bought little markers. I have never done this before. And guess what? I always forget, even like when I have, I write it on the cups normally. Well, my granddaughter helped me write this one last year. This was a tomato one, sweet 100s. But what I do is I'll transplant the tomato out into another container. I'll be doing a ton of them in one day and I won't take the time to write on the next container. Many times that has happened, many times. Not all the time, but enough that I should get some of these because I really do want to. <laughs> I really do want to keep track this year of my plants. I've been gardening over 30 years and uh, it's ridiculous that I, this is the first year doing this. I have used popsicle sticks before, but they do fade and it's hard to read them after a bit. So hopefully these stay nicely and I can actually reuse them as needed. I'll go ahead and just put these in. And you'll know that my abbreviation means real star artichoke. I don't have enough patience to write that all out. I'm just planting one in each of these because since they don't need a lot of cold weather to produce the flowers, I feel like I have more time to start again if I would like to, if some of these do not germinate. I'm just gonna push it in and put a little soil over it. We want about a quarter inch. I usually say as a general rule, however big the seed is, is about how, how deep you bury it. The key to these is keeping them moist and warm. I use these cups, I like to put saran wrap on them until they germinate 
I wasn't thinking about that with this. So I think I'm going to use a rubber band. So I've got my saran wrap on and I'm just going to put the, just going to put this inside the rubber band. Go here and I will check them actually daily to see how they're doing. Since they haven't sprouted yet, I don't have the light on, but once it does, I will be putting something underneath this to have these right under the light. If you use shop lights like this and you don't have your plants like right under them, almost touching, your plants will get leggy. So make sure you keep them very close to the light source. The plastic wrap keeps the moisture inside, which is one of the big things that I found in sprouting artichokes. They will germinate so much better if you keep them covered. With condensation will actually form on that plastic wrap and you know then it's damp enough. That's a big deal for these guys. They love that humidity. I've got them all on the heating pad. They didn't all quite fit in the tray, so I put that in that pot that has a solid bottom. But another trick, water the bottom from the very beginning the soil inside the cups there is holes in the bottom of these cups the soil will soak up the water and it will encourage the plants to set down long nice long roots I'm not putting it real deep i'm just with the entire bottom covered though by tomorrow this will be empty <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit also in this one. It's been one week and I saw germination in one of these. This one, little green guy. So I put it under the grow light. They're all plenty damp. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the lids off of all of them and wait for them to germinate without the top. Because since a couple came up, I'm assuming that these others will be coming up pretty soon. I can see that this one's starting to germinate. I'm gonna pull it out. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a little green right here. See, it's, start, it's starting to germinate. I know I need to get under the bright light right away. It's 11 days later and all of these guys are starting to pop up. Just noticed this one a minute ago. And also this one. It's been 11 days now since these were planted. I think this was the first one that came up and then this guy with the two. And then the first of the Imperial Star. And then the rest of them are just looking like this. I won't be placing these outside to get those cool temperatures until they get their first real leaves like these. The four that still haven't germinated, I'm just gonna let them sit for a while and see what happens. They do germinate though. I take them off the heating mat because they don't need that anymore. Just put them right close under the lights. These will be popping up before I go to bed tonight. They grow well between 60 and 70, so this is cooler than this mat. 